what's going on, YouTube? Let's get this a little bit closer. Um, I'm just going to talk at y'all today. Just going to have a little bit of fun. I got a huge stack of books right here uh, that I need to bag and board. And then after I'm done with that, that will be, uh, that will be the video. So um, super grateful to be back. Uh, finally finished school. So I am graduated complete have way more time to focus on you know different things that are important to me and uh, man pressing and cleaning has been taking off I mean it, it's just it's just been blowing up so I had to order another press um, so now I can do two or uh, three to four books a day instead of you know I was just doing one um, and man so basically the rundown of it and welcome to this video guys thank you so 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 much for tuning in it really means a lot to me um, yeah but uh, I was at Houston's Comic Con and I had ran into um, the owner of the comic book store that I regularly uh, go to, you know, LCS, local comic book store. And I had basically, you know, pulled him aside and just said, like, hey, this is what I do. Um, this is some of my work. You know, what do you, what do you think? And um, my hair's getting so long. Uh, you know, can can we work together? Can I show off what I'm I'm capable of? Can I you know can I earn your business? Can I you know put my cards out at your store and just you know just went through the whole run of it? You know, just basically soliciting what I do and and you know just trying to just kind of trying to hustle a little bit. You know, so it worked out. I you know I, in previous videos I showed what I was doing. I'll have you know some other things that I've been working on as well. And basically. Um, you know that's that's how it really came to be. I, I he gave me about 20 books, and uh, it was just books that you'd never really think of holding. At least you know as a small collector, I have I have a pretty good amount of books. But just I mean, you're talking about you know some Fantastic Fours and Iron Mans and and books from the the, the uh, late 50s and early 60s and stuff like that. And just I mean, yeah, it it was incredible. So I'm very, very grateful um, to be able to clean and press. So you know, as the title stated, how to protect your investment. If this is something that you're interested in in, in working with me, um, please message me on Instagram. I have my email on my account, or leave a comment below. You know, if if this is something that you want to inquire about, if it's something that you want a book cleaned or pressed, or or you know submitted to CGC. I know a lot of us have those accounts already, but if you want someone to do it for you. Um, I have the time and I'm getting really, really, really good at it. Um, I have my work, you know, here and there, um, definitely on my Instagram, or if you want personal pictures sent to you to, to show what I'm capable of, um, I'm happy to do that. And I'm also going to be working on, you know, just basically doing as much content as I can. So I've been working on a, a client of mine who also gave me about 20, uh, 20, uh, submissions. And then also he gave me this little gym. Boom! The first tin I have ever held or actually seen in person. So it is the a little bit of the dated case, and then also you probably can maybe see. Yeah, it's cracked at the top. So um, he does not have a CGC account. He is somewhat new to collecting. Um, I don't know too too much about this. This is a leather leather bound. Um, and I believe it does have staples in it, so that's still pretty interesting, but it is yellow label um, And a tin man. It's it's incredible. I really 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 hope that it comes back the same exact grade I called CGC and spoke with somebody from um, The grading department Her name was Paulette and she was incredible She was so so kind very patient because I also have a book there waiting and you know, she had basically, we just, we just chatted back and forth and it was really, um, a very good conversation, but this is awesome. So I called them because I wanted to make sure that for one, this is the older case and I wanted to make sure that he would get the newer one and it would stay consistent with what it is. So she said, it's basically a case by case, but, um, I had told her that it's a very small crack at the top. So she said, that's not something that, um, should, um, warrant uh, a completely different grade. It should just be swapped out. But, um, yeah, uh, I'm also going to be doing a video as well on these two bad boys. Before I even knew what pressing and cleaning was, I submitted two of my books here, which is, you know, Flash number one from volume two. And then, oh, I had this squeezed in there. I found this at a, uh, I probably post these pictures. I, I pressed it once today, and I know that it looks a little bit wavy, but compared to what it was, um, this is a huge difference. 
Um, so this is a fun little book. I got it at Half Price Books today for uh, for a buck. So just always consistently learning, and at least doing my best to learn how to get better at pressing. Um, so I try and grab different books, and I'm like, oh, I've never encountered that issue before. So that way, when you know someone does send me a book, I can go, oh yeah, I've, I've dealt with that before. So I'm trying to get as diverse as I can. Um, this is my second book, which is Batman number six, 8.5. It's got a nasty little spine tick. Right there. So um, I might resubmit, probably. I don't know, we'll see. Um, the back is, is perfect. Uh, it is color breaking, so when it is color breaking like that, it's, you know, it's, it's, is what it is. I'm, I, it might, um, I don't know, maybe get it back at a 9.2. This is, this is going to be a really big book, so we'll see, um, later down the road. But as of now, my next video, which will be coming out next week, uh, will be, um, I'm going to crack both of these and show you how I crack books. It's nothing difficult at all. All you need is, um, some type of flathead screwdriver so um yeah i've i've really been collecting um kind of just all over the place recently get this bag and board situation started uh another little find little steal that i like to uh call is um this murder falcon which i will show you in just a few seconds i always put the board in there first um this guy number three and now, if you have not read Murder Falcon, I definitely suggest either getting the full trade or um, like the graphic novel, which is all of the books in one. So I got this number three today at Half Price Books for two bucks. And I think that's a really good little steal. But I'm definitely going to do my best to try and collect all of these. And another thing that I started doing, just a personal touch, is I got these from the dollar store, these little, little stick-on guys. I guess you could use them like for garage sale or whatever, but... Um, sometimes my comic book store doesn't have the sealable backs, so I just stick this on the back right there, and it's, it's nice. It's way easier. Um, it's, it's very, I would say, very similar to painter's tape because you can just pop this off really quickly. And, um, like, like, please don't put tape on the back. You know, I, I see so many people, like, they'll tape this side and tape this side. So it's, you know, when someone's taking that out, it really does has, has a risk. Now, obviously, if you do it and you're really, really careful, um, obviously if you do it and you're very careful um, you won't have it stuck to the book at all but there's always just that possibility so I, I personally I love the resealable bags but um, I wasn't able to get that this time so uh, that's that's what I went with and then my other book what have I been reading and collecting as far as now I've been doing something's killing the children um, suicide squad which is number seven just came out really good looking book uh, let's see, Batman, of course, Flash, um, Once in Future, let's see, let's see, let's see, um, I got this one, it's a really good looking cover, I am hunting a second collection of, uh, of We Live, because I had, I have, like, three, four, and five, so I think I need one and two, and I'll have two sets of We Live, I know that was a little bit, uh, a while ago. Um, been reading Eve. Um, let's see. I, I'll get a Power Rangers book here and there, um, just because I really love their covers. And but I'm uh, really just kind of all over the place, as you can tell with this video. Um, here's Batman. That's a good-looking book. Good-looking book. Oh, and here's Eve. I was so excited to get this. Um, I think the the variant covers uh, a third variant. So cover C covers um, doesn't have this on the cover. But I loved this cover so much, and it came out really, really well. I have not read this one. I've been catching up on everything else just because I had felt myself getting uh, a little bit anxious or, like, I guess a little bit frustrated because so many good books were just leaving me on cliffhangers, and it used to be, like, it would be every other week, and they were sticking to that. Um, Eve number five, like, Eve number four left me on such a cliffhanger, and some books I would say most of our books are like every other week I guess but um, like the flash has been really inconsistent and uh, but it, it definitely has been way better compared to what we've we've personally well what I've been reading and what I have not really been enjoying at all um, Robin left me on a cliffhanger on number three and number four 
Number five was solid. I loved when him, uh, Damien, and uh, Grayson, uh, Nightwing, are on the roof. And, you know, basically they're chasing each other across Gotham, just saying, like, oh, if you catch me, you know, I'll come back home. And he does catch him, but it was just really a heartfelt moment. So if you have not read um, Robin, I would say number five is safe to read. Um, it, it, there's no, like, spoilers or anything like that, so it is very much safe to read. Uh, Batman and Catwoman. I have not read number six, and I believe number seven came out, um, but I need to go check with my comic book store and, and, and bug them because um, I don't remember picking that one up. But love that one. I have a 9.8 in number one, um, which I was so grateful. That was actually out of the, out of all of the books that I submitted in that um, in that collection, I guess is the safe thing to say. Uh, I had almost everything come back a 9.8, and then I had two other books, which I was shocked about, came back a 9.6, because those had never even been opened or read, so I was really frustrated about that. Um, here is number 19, for Something is Killing the Children. Also been collecting that as well, I think. I don't think I mentioned that. But um, I have 9 through 19, and then a couple extras here and there. But definitely going backwards, just because obviously number one is just so damn expensive. Um, so well, I'll get there eventually. And then another good run. This is the book I actually, not this exact book, but I have number one, um, Waiting at CGC. It is a, a, a variant, um, Thor 16. I have uh, Thor number one, the variant one in 25 with him and the Silver Surfer signed by Donny Cates and I was so foolish that I didn't really look that book over through and through and anybody who is big into CGC um, which is you know nobody is expected to know this but if you get something graded or or want something graded with a signature it has to stay in CGC's hands at all times so there was no way that I was able going to be able to take that book home clean it and press it I don't. It, I never put my hands on it that much, um, so we'll see. I mean, I'm expecting in the nines a 9.8 would just be so freaking cool, but I'm not really going to get my hopes up just because. Well, for one, um, their turnaround times are just freaking ridiculous. Oh, uh, we only find them when they are dead. Number eight, really cool cover. Um, Gosh, they're around like 100, 110 days or something like that, even with a, a specialty like yellow label. Um, but it was really cool meeting Donnie Cates. He was very kind, very friendly. I asked him a couple small questions about like his passion and stuff like that. And I did a really bad job of, of, of filming um, the whole experience. My camera, I just, I need to play with the settings more. Uh, King Spawn, definitely gonna keep that one for the p personal collection. Uh, I, was, I was pretty impressed with this. Um, with this issue, number one. They had so many variants, I was kind of, uh, I don't want to say tongue-tied. That's not the right thing. I didn't know which one to pick, so I just picked the, the original one. I think this is the original one. Um, but yeah, Donny Cates was really, really cool. The signature and the submission, I think, was only like, the signature was like 10 or 20 bucks. No, it was, it was 20 bucks, and then CGC took the book right then and there so I didn't have to pay shipping which was kind of cool and um, the guy that I was uh, talking with he was like yeah and if you give it to me it, it passes like one layer of inspection and just goes straight to receiving I was like oh that's that's pretty awesome like I, I like that so I don't know if he was being legit about that but because um, it still took like I don't know almost two two and a half weeks to get received and I felt like that was the same as far as what I had ran into last time uh, Teen Titans Academy very very good read um, I'm hoping that this gets somewhere because I'm close to dropping it a little bit. It's, 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 it's getting good and then it gets a little bit slow and it gets a little bit funky. So I don't know if I'm the target audience for this. So we'll, we'll definitely see. Um, I was absolutely in love with this cover. This is definitely CGC worthy one day. And my membership is about to renew, um, sometime this week. So I'm definitely excited about that. Um, and if you are not a part of CGC, as far as their membership, um, this might be new information to you, but whenever you renew, they give you that credit back. So I'm in the middle one, not the elite. I think it's either pro or something like that. But that 150 that I spend, I get that 150 in credits. 
So even with their increase, as far as, uh, you know, like their services going up a few bucks, um, I'll do a red sticker for the flash. <laughs> uh, I would say even with shipping, I think $150 will cover like, f it used to be like six or seven books and you'd come out of pocket just a little bit. Um, so I, I always like that a lot. I think that that's really cool because, you know, it's, I mean, a little bit of plastic and, and, you know, grading as far as time, it's, you know, they're, they're making a killing. And especially as large as CGC continues to get, um, that's something that I hope that they definitely don't get rid of for their members. Um, I went with the cover, uh, I think this is cover C for the Flash, um, with that suicide cover. Love that movie. I think uh, Idris Elba and, um, goodness, I remember, I can't remember all the other actors, but, uh, uh, God, was it John Cena? I, I can't wait to see what they do off of that spinoff. If you have not seen that movie, I definitely encourage it. It is a wonderful, wonderful, fun movie. Um, and I was blown away. I definitely, I was an, I was an okay fan uh, for the most part of the first movie. Um, I know a lot of people hated it, especially the, you know, targeting Jared Leto for the most part. But, you know, I just went into the movie with kind of no expectations, and I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, but the second one, or the reboot, or whatever you want to call it, um, I think that they did a very, very, very good job in announcing, or not announcing, yeah, announcing a new character and just the way that they did it. Um, and then, this is my last book. I got the matching set for Batman as well, cover B. But, um, yeah, uh, like I said, after I got through all those, um, let's see how big the stack is. I always let it go on a, a, a couple, uh, oops, I forgot, Batman here. Um, I don't know. Like, I let it drag out a month, and then I bag and board them all together, so that way I can go over, like, what I still need to read and what I don't need to read, but that's how I bag and board them. If you're not able to find the resealable ones, these at a dollar store are so awesome. There's 315 of them, so that'll last you three stacks of bags and boards. So I definitely encourage that. But, yeah, guys, that's how I protect my investment. Um, pressing and cleaning is definitely open for business. And uh, I, I look forward to earning y'all's business. So if there's any questions, comments, or concerns, you know how to reach me. Thank you so much for tuning in. Y'all take care. Have a good night. Peace.